Hello, hello everyone, uh, and welcome to another UK Sim Review. Uh, I know it's been a little while again, but we, we're trying to get these done. It's difficult at the moment, but we're getting there. Um, what are we looking at today? Well, we're looking at the um, Class 43 VP uh, Stroke Mark III Enhancement Pack for Train Simulator, and it's from Armstrong Powerhouse. Um, usual format is it any good what do you get with it uh, is it value for money etc 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 so what is it well it's as, as a name suggests it's an enhancement pack for the class 43 um, this is the the how do I word it um, for all you train buffs I'm not one I'll stipulate that as many times as I want I am not a train buff um, it turns out that there are three engines fitted to the Class 43s, the Valentas, the MTUs, and these VP185 thingy-midjigs. Um, I believe, rightly or wrongly, that these are a V16 versus the others being a V12. Uh, whatever. Um, and it's been fitted to some of them, uh, which operate in some areas. Um, yeah, that's pretty vague. Anyway... Uh, so this enhancement pack gives you the accurate sound recordings, I think is, is the word for it, uh, of the VP185 engined class 43s. Um, it also gives you the uh, accurate sounds for the Mark III coaches. Um, it gives you eight different liveries. So we've got um, the East... Midlands trains, I think the class does the sort of blue, orange, red, and yellow. Uh, we've got a middle and mainline one, I think there's like two or three different variations for that. Uh, there is the first Great Western, I think it is, uh, that it's been done. A couple of variations on that. Uh, in fact, there's three because obviously it's when it took over from uh, like the intercity style livery. Um, there's the Great Western one uh, with the, like the Swallow style log on it, uh, and there's obviously like your intercity uh, intercity uh, logos on there as well. So there's eight different uh, liveries on there. Um, in addition to the actual liveries and sounds, you get the ATP um, speed limit supervision mode on it. You get wheel slip protection. That's quite cool, is that actually? Uh, there's cooling fan simulations, dynamic exhaust, uh, driver visuals, devices, and you get three realistic scenarios uh, for the middle and mainline London to Bedford route. So that's what you get. How much is it? Well, it's $9.99 in the Armstrong Post store, or if you already have the MTU of Lenta packs, which I do, I have all three, reviews to come shortly. Um, then it's discounted for seven ninety nine. So seven ninety nine, like I say, you get eight liveries, um, some nice funky add-ons. That, like I say, wheel slip protection. When you drive it in the rain and you give it full full throttle, you see the actual train cut in and out, and it, it's pretty funky. Is that actually? Uh, I do like that. Um, Three scenarios, well, I'll, I'll get the scenarios out of the way. The scenarios are pretty good, as you kind of expect from Armstrong Powerhouse. The only thing that's questionable, and I kind of understand the logic behind doing it, is that this is obviously at St Pancras where it's set. There's one end of the route. Um, as a prereq there, prerequisite, I can't speak today, um, they ha have missed off the London to Faversham route. And in missing off that prerequisite, it means there is no Hitachi locals at St Pancras. So, mm, you know, on them far platforms, you would normally see them. And it's when I asked Armstrong Paris, they sort of said, well, they've done it to make the pack as accessible as possible. And I get that. That's fine. Um, but it does seem a little bit of departure away from the usual we want to make it as accurate as possible. So, hmm, you know, if you look at some of their other packs where you've had to buy pretty much everything, um, you know, look at the weary lines, you've had to buy about two or three routes to actually make that one work. 
if you went down the Armstrong Perez route where would them saying you need that for a bit of realistic, more realistic rolling stock? Don't know, maybe. I personally would have preferred to send it in there, um, but that's just me. Uh, the other things that you need is uh, the AP Class 66 Enhancement Pack. Um, so you need an enhancement pack from that. You need the AP HIA Wagon Pack, the AP JHA Wagon Pack, the Dovetail Games EWS Class 66, and the uh, London to Brighton route. And you need the middle and main line lunch set pancreas route. And you need the just change cost 222 for the scenarios. Would the one extra thing really kill us? Don't think so, guys. Anyway. Um, so, yeah. That's what you get. Right, well, that's what you get and that's what you need. Um, the scenarios are really, really good and really enjoyable. Um, I, I like them. I, I must admit, once I got the middle and main line route, I've been waiting forever for a scenario pack to come out with this from Amazon Paris because the default ones are a bit meh. Um, so all of a sudden, this makes this route feel brilliantly. And in fact, I bought the Just Trains Class 222 when it was on the sale 12, 18 months ago. And to be honest, I've not played it because those scenarios are a bit meh too. Um, it's missing quite a few things, so to actually get something now where you see different rolling stock and it's enjoyable to play I really really am, am happy about that I, I really like it um, I know people have commented on Facebook and it's going to be the real train buffs about you know, why I haven't got the three I think there's a variant with three headlights me don't care just being honest don't care. Um, does it sound good? Yeah. Do the models and the uh, logos look good? Hell yeah. In fact, I think out of the modern ones, the East Midlands train logo is probably the best Class 43 logo on a modern Class 43. I'll put it out there. I personally think that. And to see it, I think it looks awesome. Um, I'm not saying it's just that one logo looks good, all of them look good, but just picking that one as a start for 10. Uh, the wheel slip protection is awesome, and obviously it's accurate acceleration, braking physics, all that kind of stuff. It's really, really good. Um, negatives, have I got any? Well, let's be honest now, so out of the three enhancement packs collectively, Alpha Paris have probably had the best part of 30 quid out of me. Um, I already had the Mark III sound pack before they did these announcement packs. I already had the MTU sound pack and I already had the Blender sound pack before I bought any of the announcement packs. And yes, I got a discount on the MTU one. I've already done a review on that. I didn't on the Blender one, but I waited for it to go on sale because I was a bit peed that they're coming out with upgrades that they say aren't upgrades when they blatantly are upgrades. Um, but at least they've acknowledged that this one being that some of it is included in the other packs, that if you've got the other packs, they give you a discount, if that makes sense. So, for 7 99 am I happy with it? Yeah, I'm happy with it. I, I, I'm enjoying it. I feel like I'm getting my money's worth out of it. And when, hopefully, if, when, Armstrong Pair has come up with some more scenario packs for the um, London to Bedford route, then you know this enhancement pack they're going to use um, oh well I remember they have included I forgot to mention um, an updated um, model for the class 377 to use on this line uh, the first capital connect livery I think it is um, so that's quite nice that it's included it's sort of in the back door uh, but I don't think it's mentioned certainly on the website I know it's mentioned on Facebook and it's a picture of why it's there so yes I remember they've got a, an extra a logo there so I yeah have I bought it yes if I had to buy it again knowing what I know now would I buy it yes um, $7.99 I'm happy with $7.99 yes would I pay $9.99 for it not sure yeah I'm, I'm a tight northern two quid makes all the difference um, not sure if I pay because all of these I've paid 7 99 for 
would have paid nine ninety nine for them. Don't know, because the way I look at it is typical scenario pack is four ninety nine, six scenarios, so I'm getting three scenarios from half in it. Um, so that's call it two fifty, and then so I've then got the remaining to justify, and it's like. Do the eight liveries in the sound justify that? Well, mm, like I say, mm, don't know. Certainly seven ninety nine. If you got the other house with packs, buy this. You won't be disappointed. You get some great scenarios with it. Uh, and the there you go. It's a V sixteen Rumble. It sounds freaking awesome. Uh, I've, I'm actually listening to this on um, Gemma Shushi. Sorry, the little ones. Babbling away in the background now, she's very noisy. Um, the, I listen to these, I actually play this game on, I've got proper studio monitors, so they're uh, Yamaha uh, with an 8-inch driver, um, and with the sound cranked up on that, they, it sounds amazing, uh, with a great big V16 rumble going on. Um, especially when you go outside the cab, it sounds brilliant. So yeah, I, I think it, it sounds awesome. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, um, I hope you found this review useful and informative. Always, uh, please like, please subscribe. I'm nearly at 100 subscribers. Awesome. Uh, I may do a giveaway. I'm think I'm pondering about it. If I get 100 subscribers, I may dip my hand into my own pocket as uh, a so thank you to everybody who has subscribed uh, and come up with something. Maybe something small. Maybe that's from Paris Pack. Maybe a somewhere at the store I need to have a think about it but yeah nearly 100 subscribers so yeah um, thanks again for watching thanks again for subscribing please like please subscribe uh, and I'll see you very very shortly take care bye bye